Welcome, I'm going to do a color swap on this one. Welcome to another commentary done by Dickity Upper in corner. We have Rancor starting as the Red Zerg. Bottom right in corner, we have Masucci starting as... Oops, forgot to update the score. We'll do that here in the background. I'm not sure if that shows up the background flash in the midst of this. So now we got three. I'm not sure how that's going to show up on the video. We'll have to see how it comes down the line. Let me know in the comments. Masucci taking last match. I think Rancor GGing a little bit early, but he lost... A lot of mining time, and critically, he lost a lot of gas mining time, which was going to put the Mutalisks out very early. Which, I'm not sure if that was going to be a straight seal win, but it was going to be a difficult challenge to try to surmount. Rancor is going to get the scouting advantage here, Overlord making its way to the bottom right hand corner where Masucci's base is located. I really actually want to see... I, I haven't seen this yet out of Rancor, period. I want to see a just to see if it happens, a uh, 12 hat, or a 12 pool, I mean. I want to see 12 pool. Thus far, he's done a lot of in-base 12 hatches the last series of matches. It looks like now he's going to open up for a 9 pool. And let's see if, and Masucci's opened up Overlord first. He is saving minerals. It's possible he's going to go for a 12 hatch. So building right here, he's got another two drones building. And this is kind of the timing. And on 11, he's building the spawning pool. So once again, going to have the build order advantage. Rancor has come back from this style of situation before in previous matches. But once again, Masucci rolling out with the build order advantage. Extractor spawning. Spawning pool also on the way. Drone sneaking in to go ahead and mine gas. The next question is, is Dud Rancor dedicate... The early Zerglings, we've oftentimes seen him open up with the spawning pool and not dedicate Zerglings. In fact, instead, go for an early lair and plop down a something colony. It's kind of a defensive strategy. Looks like he is building additional drones. I don't see Zergling speed upgrading, so it looks like he is, in fact, going to go straight to lair. Expansion's been grabbed in the meantime. Spawning pool finishes. Masuchi knows where to send the Zerglings as they're being built. But Rancor with the Overlord scouting should have timing and will know how many Zerglings he needs to create potentially to counter the situation. Yeah, and I think even looking at the APM, you can see that Rancor is feeling a little bit more flustered or perhaps down. Down at uh, 150 compared to, I think we've seen him more in the 200 marks. He is dropping a creep colony and a few Zerglings. He's going to leave that base open and try to get the quick win via Mutalisk play. He's up three drones currently. The Zerglings are making their way up to the north. And four Zerglings and a Sutton Colony will be there to greet the incoming troops. Trying to grab position on the ramp. Getting a good amount of initial damage. Nice bit of micro there. Now backing out. Lair is finished. Sutton Colony able to do a lot of damage right there. I'm not seeing additional Zerglings making their way across. Lair is way delayed for Masuchi, so Masuchi is probably going to need to opt for an Evolution Chamber in order to sneak back into this. We got eight Zerglings inside the base this side. Spires being built on the corner. Zerglings in a defensive posture near the drones. That drone on the corner getting tapped. One Zergling getting picked off. The Zerglings getting caught a little bit in a fight, but about an even exchange with that. So sticks, still six Zerglings there versus the five plus the Sunken Colony. The natural expansion is running for Masuchi. It is 13 drones apiece, however. And the Spire halfway finished for Rancor. So Rancor in a decent position. Lair finishing for Masuchi. But I'm looking for an Evolution Chamber to be plopped down by him as far as a continuation game. A few additional Zerglings being fielded. And it looks like, is Masuchi going to... Looks like a, a bit of a tap. It looks like he is going to go ahead and exit with the Zerglings at this stage. He's going to go Spire as well. That's going to put him behind by a large margin. Maybe he feels like he's got a game to give. He does have two bases worth... Okay, there's the Evolution Shaper. He does have two bases worth of Larva to work with. The Zerglings are making their way across. We do have the initial three Mutalisks being produced as Rancor is grabbing his natural expansion. Rancor up in supply. A big flood of Zerglings making their way across. It looks like there is a backstab, though, for Rancor. 
And as a spore colony is being built, there are mutalisks here, but I don't know that that's going to be sufficient. You have the zerglings immediately turning around. Spore colony looks like it might get taken out before they're able to really respond. An overlord actually taking some damage, but should be okay otherwise. And this is going to pin the zerglings back, which is going to allow the mutalisks potentially to get up and get a lot of damage done. So initially hitting an overlord, but they, well, they might want to work on it. The zergling making it into the main, doing some damage there. Masuchi down drones. Nice drone drill to clean that up. His spire finally up. But the Mutalisks are already attacking the natural expansion. They need to pick their targets carefully. Those The Zerglings trying to stutter step underneath to draw the attention. Looking for additional Mutalisks to be... A second sunk colony has been dropped and more Mutalisks are flooding this direction. So Rancor in a position to, to win this. If he can drone drill well enough. Maybe keep a Mutalisk or, two, or two at home. Looks like he's going after Overlords to try to mitigate potential additional Zerglings that would be able to flood across. The Zerglings running in. Rancor now pulling that back. Masuchi in the red. He does have a Spore Colony at his main. But it looks like the Mutalisks are going to go ahead and stay. I would go after that Evolution Chamber first. Looks like they're working on the hatchery, though. Additional Mutalisks making their way across. Rancor in a commanding position now. 12 drones. A lot of Mutalisks. Masuchi forcing an engagement. And the Mutalisks getting all but wiped out. Try to retreat to the Spore Colonies. Every single Mutalisk getting picked off. Drawing back and more Mutalisks, yeah, attacking what Zerglings are left. Masuchi in trouble. Overlord's now getting targeted as well. But Masuchi's still clinging on. Again in the red. And I think that might be GG, but it looks like he just wants to fight this off. Rancor pocketing a drone potentially to go ahead and grab his natural expansion. Nearly double the supply right now of Masuchi. Zerglings fanning out to potentially deny additional expansions. More mules making their way across the map. A second spore colony being built. But honestly, the way things stand, if Rancor wants to end the game, all he has to do is build sufficient Zerglings and run... Oh, somehow... Masuchi sneaking some Mutalus across. Rancor completely out of position. The drones are going to have to flee. This is a get back in the match maneuver right here. Masuchi finding a way. Wow. The drones getting leveled. Six drones remaining, and that has to be frustrating. Down to five drones. He can pump drones immediately. And we'll still have the Mutalisk air advantage, but taking a big economic hit. Masuchi actually... Oh, never mind. Masuchi's still going to call it there. Didn't want to fight it out, but just showing, hey, I can do a slash from the grave. Calling GG. Rancor able to take game four. And we'll move on to the fifth match.